Defuse your lobster. Next! CapeCast! Howdy folks, I'm Eric Williams and welcome to CapeCast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times for July 24th. We go deep inside a lobster to remove potentially toxic tamale in the second half of the show. But first, let's take a look at news. In breaking news, Barnstable police are searching for a man who allegedly robbed a Rockland Trust bank branch in Hyannis this morning. The man is described as white, six feet tall, wearing a red baseball cap and yellow sneakers. Stay tuned to CapeCodOnline.com for more on this breaking story. We now turn to tamale, the green liver stuff inside lobsters. State health officials have issued a warning against eating tamale because it may contain toxins from a recent red tide outbreak in the region, so Cape Cass launched an exhaustive investigation into the green goo. Last night at Mac Shack in Wellfleet, diners were enjoying lobsters and other denizens of the deep, hopefully eschewing tamale. Earlier in the day, proprietor Mac Hay let Cape Cass tag along as he cooked up a two and three quarter pound lobster, cracked it open, then kindly showed us how to avoid the troubling tamale. So as we open up the lobster, now you can get a really good shot of the tamale. And you can see, you can see how it runs through the whole body cavity. You have your row running right through. This, this one in particular happens, happens to be packed full of row. Um, but this, this comes out as, as like a sack. So if we remove the row, and you can see how it's separate, it's not all mushed together. What you have left is the tamale. And there it is, brainy type, viscous, and uh, rather, in my opinion, nasty looking. So we've got our lobster open and we wanna get all the meat out of it that we can, but we're afraid we're gonna get a little bit of tamale in there. And, so let's get rid of this tamale. So simply what we can do is you can use a, a fork, a spoon would work better, or your finger, and you just sort of pull it out real gingerly, trying not to break it down too much. So you can see it, it, it really comes out rather easily in, a, in, in a one whole piece. Now what you're left with is a cavity that has little remnants of, of tamale. But don't fear, if you simply take a, a faucet or a little bucket of, of water. You could dunk it in, rinse it off a little. I'd say for the most part, that's safe to eat. Maybe a little bit here and there, but hey, you know, you gotta take a little risk now and then. Tracy, why do you eat so much tamale? Is it delicious? It's tasty. Have you tasted it ever? It's good. It has a flavor like nothing else. It's really, actually, I, I, the roe and the tamale actually taste better to me than the lobster meat itself. And it sounds crazy, but it's true. I really do love it. Wait a second. I don't you, know. You'll I mean, sit down with like a plate, like a big plate of People glop? just take their lobster apart and then they put the tamale off to the side. And then when, when I'm ready, I go over and I just scoop it off of their plate and I eat it. So like after every night here at Mac Shack yeah, or right, Wellfleet? I have a big bucket of tamale <laughs> that Mac brings home and I eat it. Yes. Well, cut it out. <laughs> and I'm fine. I'm healthy. My kids are okay. They're beautiful children. <laughs> well, uh, this just in, Mrs. T, from the State Department of Public Health, yeah. Consumer Advisory for Lobster Tamale. Yeah. Would this change your mind? Well, you know, I wouldn't eat as much. That's probably what I would do. I would tr still taste it, but I probably wouldn't eat as much. Cut down to like 10 or yeah. 5 pounds a week? <laughs> Maybe just a spoonful. That would be fine. While public health officials have issued a warning against eating tamale, they never said anything about using it as toothpaste. Mmm, lobstery. After all this bad news, we felt so bad for tamale that we decided to buck up the organ with a song. The sun'll come out, tamale, even though you're full of toxins, tamale, you'll be fine, tamale, tamale, I, oh, jeez, love ya, tamale, even though you're sort of disgusting. Health officials stress that lobster meat is safe to eat. 
Now let's check the all-important Cape and Islands weather forecast back by sites from the Sandwich Marina. For tonight, showers and possibly a thunderstorm, mainly before midnight with a low around 71. And for Friday, mostly cloudy, then gradually becoming sunny with a high near 82. Okay, we've got to get out of here. This has been Cape Cast for July 24th. Till next time, see ya! Cape Cast.